Shalom fam, it's your sis, that biblical babe, Jelly B. Yes, I am trying to squeeze this hood on my head because I feel like it. Yeah. But guys, big up on yourself and thank the Lord because he's the greatest. He's given me a few messages for you guys that I'm going to speak and I pray that the Holy Spirit gives me utterance, gives me the words to speak that will bring clarity and wisdom and understanding to whoever this message is for, that it will go forth and find you in the time in a timely manner in jesus name amen this first message that i want to speak to somebody obviously praise the lord i get revelation through my dreams but the lord speaks to me through the word so i'm going to speak the word to you okay this is about someone a, a someone who has a jezebel spirit okay and it's actually so deep this is why i love the bible because it's applicable to current day society it's spiritual it's speaking about spiritual beings it's archetypes that the bible has okay so if i'm talking about jezebel from the old testament who also is spoken about in revelation um i'm speaking about an archetype a person who has this spirit and we are spiritual beings we are three part beings just like when the in genesis when the most high said let's make them in our image as a three part being Okay, just like the Most High, he's a three-part being, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The flesh, the soul, and the spirit, we could break it down like that, like what we are. My flesh that you see with the hood up like this, because I just feel it like doing this right now, because it's like, this is just my mood. My soul, which is my will, which is speaking to you from the accumulation of wisdom I've gathered through falling on my feet. I mean, my knees, let me calm down, sorry. And accepting that the Lord, he is my salvation and he is the truth. And um, yeah, my will, my emotions, all of that, that's my soul. But my spirit is who, what longs for the most high. It's why we see the world as it is right now, where people are seeking something to worship, to love. Because that's what we were designed as three-part beings, designed to worship our creator. And if we're not worshipping our creator, we're worshipping something. The world, money, uh, just there's going to be something that we beings made, made in the image of our father, the most high, the father, the son, and the Holy Spirit, a three-part being hope you're getting me this is what we have a natural and innate inclination to do okay so i'm speaking today about a spirit in somebody that i saw that the most high showed me it's a jezebel spirit this spirit is a controlling spirit this spirit doesn't necessarily not believe in god but they have many gods meaning that they don't just follow what the word says they don't just do what the most high says they even hear they are somewhat anointed in the spiritual realm and that they have some kind of authority okay because this is who jesuit bell was in in the bible she was somebody a queen somebody who had authority because of her who her father was but she worshipped other gods okay so i'm not going to get into that completely but this is what i'm speaking about and who i'm speaking about the person who this message is for you have a jezebel spirit and the way I see life, okay, because I, I studied psychology and it's really interesting. Um, I used to want to be an academic. I thought I would do a PhD one day and I just love knowledge. That's just how I am. I'm wired that way. Um, but then I started to study and I realized, oh my gosh, these people are medicating spirits because I was raised in faith. I know Jesus Christ. He was my best friend from way back when. Okay. So anyway, so I realized, no, this ain't for me. I'm not going to, I don't want to be... I don't want to do anything that requires me to medicate something that the scriptures tell us that fasting and prayer is going to deal with that demon so anyway that's why i didn't go into that and so what i was saying about psychology it's like the i just call it the perverted version of true spirituality through the holy spirit the bible biblical spirituality the holy spirit is because it's it it's trying to medicate and categorize things that are literally spirits that the bible speaks about so i'm speaking about jezebel here yeah jezebel is characterized by psychology as the narcissist or a person who is narcissistic now i believe personally this is where i was going with this that we are all we all got the jezebel spirit from a barn in this world in this social construct that is continually telling us things that are not true right we develop narcissistic 
uh, characteristics and what that means biblically speaking is that we worship the world bow like Jezebel we have more than one God we might say we're Christians and go to church on a Sunday but we party we fornicate we do things that are outside of the will of God because we have this natural innate inclination to have a Jezebel spirit it's like it's born into us because of the world the western society that we have been raised in okay it's just you have to unlearn that and these other esoteric you know spiritualist people about learning and unlearning yeah there's some truth in what you're saying but you twist it because I know the doctrines of demons and I can see it but I'm speaking here yeah this is what we are required to do. So this is to not me to point a finger and just say, the Lord is telling you this because I do have a message for you, the person who this is for. But it's to have understanding, okay? I pray this deepens your understanding that a Christian, a person who proclaims Jesus is Lord can have a Jezebel spirit, a controlling, manipulative spirit that twists the word, that doesn't listen and bow down to the authority of the Most High. There is somebody that I saw, right? And this is what I, um, happened. This is what the Lord says, that Jezebel, the spirit of Jezebel, that you are given time to repent. That's what grace is. That's what, I don't even want to say mercy, because mercy is, they both have a depth to it, but I'm going to use the word grace. Grace is that period of time where you've done wrong, you've sown bad seeds, and the Lord is like, look, I'm giving you time. I'm giving you time to fix up. And then some people take that time and fix up and change and repent and actually change their lives. And others just think, oh, he ain't going to do anything. Like, he's not done anything before. And what's so interesting, I might be here like Jonah and I might be speaking to you and say to you, you need to turn around today. Because I can see, the Lord can see, and other people are going to see what you, be, you have been doing behind closed doors. There's a Jezebel, somebody who has a Jezebel spirit, who's been dealing with or been uh, manipulated or... I don't know what it is exactly, but what I saw was that um, there's fornication involved, okay? This ain't about me because I'm not down that road, praise the Lord. I thank you, Father, that you have realigned me and blessed me. But there is somebody who you, I believe you know the Lord and you've chosen to go with a man. That's what I saw in my dream. And people are going to be, are, it's going to be exposed to people what you do behind closed doors, what you think that others don't see, the Lord sees it and others are going to start seeing it. Um, and there is like this great separation that's coming, but I'm going to speak about that in another word. But there's somebody who has a Jezebel spirit who you are, you, it's like your eyes see money. You like money, man. That's what I saw, okay? You like money, man. And the way the Lord speaks to me, is so funny, but it's personal, so I'm not even going to go there. Anyway, but you like money, man. And that has led you to be outside of the will of God. Okay? And he's given you time to repent. And if you don't, like I said, I could be like Jonah, where I could say this. If you don't repent, judgment is coming for you. And maybe he, he that's not what he's determined. He's just sent me because this is what you need for me to speak to you like this. I don't know, but I'm just going to be obedient. But this is what I saw. Somebody who has the Jezebel spirit, exposure is coming for you because you've been fornicating. You've had warning after warning to stop this. You know the Lord and you keep, you worship money. That's your problem. A money man could come and twist your head. I just got to tell you the truth. So anyway, that's the word that the Lord gave me to speak to somebody that your time of repentance that he gave you, your grace period, that mercy that he was showing you has come to an end. It's come to an end and you need to turn around. So yeah, I pray that you, you take heed because the Lord, he is merciful, he is great, he is loving, but he don't play. He doesn't. And it's not like he's exacting all of this uh, wickedness on you. When you understand the world, uh, how it's fashioned what it was created by his word when you go against the word the word goes against you it's a double-edged sword you sinning is killing yourself and when you fornicate that is the only sin that you are actually destroying your temple that's the only one but anyway i'm gonna stop right there i pray that this message reaches who needs it and you turn around and stop making the money Turn your head. Stop it.